Alright guys, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel today. Today I want to talk about this Zill Starter. So this is actually a Zill mining tool and it allows you to actually mine pretty much whatever you want alongside Zill. So right now I just missed it before I started recording. It actually switched over to Zill. It is mining Zill right now. Um, you can see we're getting about 38 mega hash on a 3060. And this is while I'm recording. So I do have the driver, and there it goes. It closed Phoenix Miner. And now it should open uh, G Miner any second here. Here we go. It just popped it up. And now it's going to start mining Raven because that's how we have it set. So that is what I'm going to go over today is actually how to use this miner. Uh, again, I am mining Raven Miner, or mining Raven, and also Zill at the same time. But you could be mining Aeon and Zill, you could be mining uh, Firo and Zill, you could mine Eth and Zill, you could mine ETC and Zill. You can mine, again, whatever miner you want, pretty much. And without further ado, let's get into how to set this up now. So, again, this is an auto switcher. I didn't do any of that stuff. It does it in the background right here and it is very easy to start as well. So, let's get into this. Alright, welcome back. So we are now on the actual Zill mining page. So this is the Zill switcher, actually. Um, it is on bitcointalk.org uh, slash index. I will leave this link down below. And it says, hello anonymous miner, thank you. And we are going to scroll down here, and this is all about a Zillica auto switcher and it says auto mine zill there's zero fees on this tool uh, it works in hive I haven't gotten that to work it's also supposed to work in simple mining OS I have not tried that either what I'm going to show you how to do today is actually to do this in Windows because I see a lot of people wanting to mine zill now since the zill has gone up a bunch it's uh, I want to say almost eight cents right now as of making this video so that's really cool uh, especially with how much Zill I've been holding. So anyways, these are the um, different miners that Z the Zill switcher will support. So if you're, you are if you are using any of these here, you know, uh, Phoenix Miner, Claymore Miner, I, this is kind of gone, Claymore Miner. I used to use that back in the day, but it's gone now. SRB Miner, SG Miner, B Miner, G Miner, Nice Hash Miner Legacy, I don't even know what that is. CC Miner, TT Miner, uh, I've never used some of these, Team Red Miner. Uh, you can choose any of these miners and it will switch back and forth between using your regular .bat file that you probably already have set up in Windows and the regular thing. So it does show you how to do this down below and I will show you what I'm going to do today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download the Zill Switcher. The download link is right here. I'm going to click that. It's going to take me over here and after it finishes loading we can download the zill switcher now there's two different versions here i'm going to download the newest version and then there are two other things that i'm going to download i also am going to grab um phoenix miner today of uh, phoenix miner version 5.6d okay i'm going to download that and then i'm also going to download g miner and these are the softwares that I'm using today. Again, when I showed you uh, at the beginning of this video, that is what it is switching between. It is actually using Phoenix Miner to mine Zillica, and it is using G Miner to mine um, Raven. So let's get into this now. All right, so now that we got all this stuff extracted into one folder, I actually had to remove all of the contents of the different miners after extraction and put them into one folder. So now I have one folder with Zill Switcher, Phoenix Miner, and G Miner all inside. So what I have to do now is I just have to go modify my bat file. The first thing I want to do is rename this Ravencoin bat file to a little bit simpler name so that I can uh, reference it later. So I'm just going to put RVN. So there we go, and then I'm going to also go in there, and I'm just going to change this address to my address. And the reason I'm just going to do that is because this isn't my address. So there we go. I got my address in there. We can save it. And now I have my Raven set up. 
So the only other thing I have to do is set up the Zill switcher. So I can show you now, I just double click that, the miner opened on my other screen, let me drag it up there, and there we go. So it is building the DAG file and it's working. So the first thing I have done is I actually got my original miner, which you guys probably already have set up, working. Now, let me close that. First option that I have to get Zill Switcher started is I can double click on Zill Switcher right here. It is the application. It's going to ask me, should I run it? Yes, I want to run it anyways. And it's going to pop this window up. Let me drag this up there. Okay. So after a couple seconds, it finally loaded this list. Let me, uh, let me open up the screen a little bit bigger here so we can see. Okay, it has a full list of all of the miners that you're allowed to choose from when you're using this client, this Zill Switcher client. Um, this is the thing that I really like. It allows you to do all these different ones. So again, today we're going to be using G Miner. So G Miner is number six. So it says enter miner number from above list. So I'm going to hit number six. Now it's going to ask me, do I have an executable or a bat file? And what they're asking here is, let me go back. Let me, mine it. Let me minimize that. Okay. What they're talking about here is, so I have a miner here. This file right here is G Miner. Uh, this one's Phoenix Miner, and what they're talking about is this is the executable file. It means when you double click it, it'll actually open a miner. See if I'm gonna run anyways, and it should open a miner. So they're talking about do you is that how you mine? You double click on that, or do you actually have a bat file? And then I have a bat file, so that's the way that I'm gonna set this up. So I'm gonna hit number two now. It asks right here, number two. So hit two. What is the full name of your bat file? See, this is why I made a really short bat file before, where I just put RVN. So it says put your bat file and then dot bat. There we go. Now all the the only last thing I have to do to technically get this started is to put in my Zill address. So let me go grab my Zill address real quick. Um, here we go. I'm copying it right now and we shall come up there okay so you can just copy and paste it right into the miner here we go paste it right in there and then I'm gonna hit enter okay and it popped up G minor already so it is open G minor I'm gonna let this start while I talk for a second it should be able to load the driver and everything. Maybe not while I'm recording at the same time. It might have a little bit of difficulty with that. Um, however, while we're doing that, letting that load, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna let it mine. This is only a 3060, so I do know it works. There is another way to set this up, however. And that is by actually making a bat file with your information inside of that. So I'm going to actually just modify one of these other batch files. So I'm going to get rid of mine F here. Um, actually, let's make a copy of this. This is probably a better practice for everybody in case you want to use it later. So I'm going to copy and paste. So I now have a copy of that and I'm going to edit the name right there and we're gonna name this Zill start okay and now we're gonna come back over to the Zill website let me get back on there and here we go it is loading oh, terrible content producer guys sorry there we go Okay, so this is the original website that I have linked down below. And we are going to come down here to these command lines or start scripts. So this is what I'm interested in right here is this. I'm going to copy that. And then I am going to modify my bat file with that. So Let's open Zill Switcher, and we are going to go to my Zill Starter now, which is probably at the bottom. Zill Start right here, 
and this is a batch file. I am going to erase the rest of this stuff. It is now empty. We're going to paste what I just copied off of the first thing. And now it's going to ask me what M. So the M, zillswitcher.exe is the executable file. That is a zill starter. Um, now this is M. M is 6. Remember that was the G minor from my previous example of how to start this. So that is G minor right there is number 6. And then we're going to need to put my minor bat file here. This is where I'm going to put that name Raven. So that is what I named right here. Hold on, let me drag this over. See right here, Raven. Okay, and then I'm going to put Raven there. And then the last thing I need to modify in this file is my Zill address right here. So let's actually undo that. I need to go copy my Zill address again. And this is actually my payout so far too on this gaming PC. This is the pre-built gaming PC I purchased. I've already made 45 Zill on this gaming PC and my average hash rate is 48 mega hash. So that's pretty good I think. Anyways, uh, I got my Zill address copied here. Let's go back into here and edit my bat file with that Zill address. There we go. And then I'm going to close it and I'm going to save it. And then if I double click on this, it pops up this screen right here. And we will see. It has now opened G minor. And it's actually starting the miner this time, it looks like. It might actually be able to load the DAG file, hopefully, for you guys as an example. And then in the background, as it loads this, hopefully you'll also be able to see over here. It found the miner. This is the Zill switcher. This is actually what you're going to see for this. It should start running a timer here and it will recheck back on the Zill pool every so often. So for those of you that don't know, Zill is only mined every so often. It's like for a minute, sometimes it's a little bit longer depending on what happened on the network that might take longer to um, process the, the transactions that occurred on the network. But it's usually only like a minute or two and you're going to switch over. So one thing is I will show you MSI Afterburner here. Hold on one second. I am running the clocks on this card that I know um, because I'm recording it right now the core clock is a little bit higher right here but when I'm mining it actually runs at about 1500 and the temperature is good everything's fine it runs great and even when it switches over to Zill and starts mining ETH it runs a little bit cooler actually because it's less core dependent but the clocks still work. I know I could tune it and get a little bit more out of the Zill mining because Zill is essentially an ETH hash with a very uh, a little bit different setup. So with that going on, um, I'm, I'm just saying that it doesn't really matter the core clocks too much. And then if we get into Red Panda Mining's um, spreadsheet here, let me get this open. It's loading, it's loading. Oh man. Let me close this miner real quick. There we go. Okay, it is loaded now. And so my, my point here is by looking at this, if you look at all these different settings, the settings between the different coins that he's got listed here is really not that much different. And so mining, switching over and mining Zill is not going to be a huge deal. You can do it and not have to worry about it for the minute to three minutes or whatever the Zill round is going to last for every couple hours, and it's really not going to affect you. You can pick up an extra coin, you can diversify your portfolio, and you can maybe make yourself a lot of money if this Zillica coin takes off to the moon, which, in case you didn't know, Zillica is the originator of sharding. If you don't know what sharding is, I suggest you do some research because that is where Ethereum is actually going to go, is to sharding eventually. So... Do a little bit of research on that. I believe that this is not financial advice. However, I believe, in my own theory, that when people become more aware of what sharding is and Ethereum switches over to that, which is the current plan, I think that that's when Zill is going to take off, and that's what I'm hodling it for. 
So personally, I'm going to hold it until then. I have quite a bit of zeal. I've been mining it for uh, like six to eight months, probably a little bit longer, maybe um, with my whole farm. My whole farm switches over at this point. So every zeal round I switch over, um, a couple things you need to be aware about is when it does switch over you will get some errors some a uh, little bit of an rejected shares and stuff like that it's totally normal it's because the gpu is literally just stopped what they're doing it's like if you were just walking down the street eating an ice cream cone and somebody said something to you and you just threw it on the ground and took off running that's literally what happens when it switches over so you're gonna have to expect some rejected shares or issues or something like that well not issues rejected shares specifically or invalid shares or stale shares so it's totally normal uh it doesn't affect you too much because it's not actually making it to the pool usually um it's usually in the minor software so if you look carefully the minor software like for example i'm using g minor will report a rejected share however when you look at the pool there's no rejected share and that's my experience at least so just have a have a good time mining this stuff i really hope you enjoyed this video um, I will see you guys next time. Uh, this is Anonymous Miner, and if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.